Hey everyone. The online music industry has taken one step forward and one step back. The RIAA has finally come to their senses. Who's the RIAA? Why, that's the Recording Industry Association of America. They recently announced that they're no longer going to be suing their fans. Okay, more specifically, they're no longer going to be filing lawsuits against people who illegally share music online. Couple of reasons for this. First of all, they found that their legal expenses are much higher than the average settlement in these cases, which is between three and six thousand dollars. Also, there's enough of a legitimate online music business now that they don't feel it's as necessary as it once was. And finally, it's just bad business. It would be sort of like automakers suing people who like to drive cars. Or restaurant owners suing people who like to go out to eat. Thumbs up to the RIAA for finally catching a clue. One step back. Warner Music refused to renew their contract with YouTube. That's right. No longer should you find music on YouTube allowed, tolerated, accepted in the background of videos or even posted by Warner Music themselves. They have several major recording artists and it is unfortunate that they haven't renewed their contract with YouTube. The YouTube online environment just got a little bit less friendly for music fans. Thanks for watching.